Hi everyone, welcome back for another Signals and Systems example. Today we're going to focus on the integration of continuous time impulses. So let's get going. The integral that we're going to calculate today is y of t is the integral from minus infinity to t of 3 delta of tau minus 10 d tau. So the t dependence of y of t comes in the limit, the upper limit of the integral. So in order to figure out how to calculate this, let's first start by sketching 3 delta of tau minus 10. So we'll make a tau axis down here. And 3 delta of tau minus 10 looks like a delta function located at tau equal to 10 with an area of 3. So let's remember one important thing about impulses, and that is this, which is also the 3 here, is actually the area of the impulse. It's not the height of the impulse, it's the area of the impulse because the height of the impulse is actually infinite because this arrow here means that it's the impulse is infinitely narrow and infinitely tall actually but the area of the impulse is what we get when we integrate it and that's equal to 3 so we write that right next to the arrow. Okay, so now we're looking at this integral from minus infinity to t of this delta function that's at 10. So we have a couple different cases we need to consider. So the first case, let me just sketch it down here, if t is less than 10, then the integral, then let me do the sketch over. We have the sketch here, 3, and that's 10. Um, the limits of the integral, remember, are equal to minus infinity and t. So let's just indicate the limits here. And in this case, we know that t is less than 10. So it has to be the limit t is over there. And so we're integrating from minus infinity all the way over to the left up to t. So that's our limits of integration. And in this case, there is nothing within this limits of integration. The function 3 delta of tau minus 10 is equal to 0 in that limit. And so um, what we get is under these circumstances, y of t is equal to 0 because there's no impulse within the limits of the integration. Now, we have another case. If t is greater than 10, then I can do a different sketch down here. Here's our delta function that is located at 10 with an area of 3. Now, t is greater than 10, so let me sketch that and indicate that here. So t is somewhere over here. So our limits of integration run from minus infinity all the way up to t. And in this case, the delta function is included within the limits of the integration. And so we get y of t is equal to 3, which is the area of the impulse that's included in the limits of integration. Okay, so we had two different cases. t is less than 10, we get 0. t is greater than 10, we get 3. You might ask, well, what happens if the limit is exactly at 10? And there we have a discontinuity. Um, so if t is exactly equal to 10, um, it's, it's a jump between 0 and 3. So let's just, on the next page here, we'll get a nice sketch so let me just summarize what we determined on the previous page, which was we found out that y of t is equal to 0 for t less than 10, 
and equal to 3 for t greater than um, 10. We could say greater than or equal to 10. Um, and we could rewrite this in a different way as 3 u of t minus 10, where u of t minus 10 is the unit step starting at 10. So we can do a sketch of this. So if we sketch y of t down here, then it looks like this as a function of t. So here's 10. So it's 0 up until 10, and then it jumps up to 3 at 10, and it stays at 3 for the rest of time. And so what we've shown is that, if we page back here, we've shown that the integral of a delta function of area 3 located at 10 results in uh, a unit step with height 3 um, that is located at 10. So this is our final answer uh, for this question. It's a pretty simple application of, um, of integration with impulses. Um, but if you understand how to do this example, then there are a lot more complicated examples that you can do later. So that ends the example for today. Um, so again, uh, this video was made for the ECE 220 course at George Mason University, and if you want to find out more about Mason or uh, the Volgeno School of Engineering, you can check out these websites. Thanks for listening.